Well, hello once again, all my YouTube subscribers, and uh, thanks for taking the time to tune in. Now, today we're going to take a look at a quite rare Italian machine. This is Duncan Libby's 1977 380 Moto Villa. Now, this particular machine has already been uh, posted on my YouTube channel, but in this video, I thought I would just uh, give you a little bit more background about the uh, history of this uh, quite rare machine. Now, this bike was the very first of three Moto Villa motorcycles that were imported into the UK by North East motorcycle dealer John Burden in the summer of 1977. Now, this very machine was raced successfully in the late 1970s by a local rider called Gary Taylor, who, along with Rod Harrison, who was another local villa rider, raced one of these villa's sister bikes at motocross meetings in the south of England. Now, after the bike was raced in the late 1970s by Taylor, it was then mothballed for many years when, just a few years ago, the bike then fell into the hands of Alex Turner, who was an acquaintance of Gary's. But by this time, the bike was really just a pile of bits. Well, a pile of rust, really, and in a sorry state, to use Alex's own words. Now, Alex Turner then went on to do a complete nut and bolt restoration, taking almost three years to complete this task, as most of his time was taken up trying to source original spare parts from Italy and other European suppliers. Now, the motor was initially stripped and rebuilt, replacing all the usual gaskets, seals and bearings and surprisingly enough was still in good original condition despite its long periods of inaction and many years of being off the track. Now of course the frame was also completely stripped and powder coated in this uh, lovely superb Villa Orange. Then all the other various original parts were inspected and either renewed or just refurbished. Now, of course, these Moto Vila machines were fitted with Marzocchi forks on the front, although Duncan's machine was at this time fitted with Michael units as the original Marzocchis were away being refurbished at the time these pictures were taken. Now, the front and rear wheels were uh, rebuilt using brand new XL rims and uh, heavy-duty stainless steel spokes. Now, of course, the newly completed front and rear wheels were then fitted with a pair of high-quality Maxxis motocross tyres. Now, the original exhaust system on this bike was a bit tired and uh, the worst for wear. So, uh, this uh, original replacement item came direct from Italy and it is a new old stock replacement for this uh, 1977 380 Villa machine. Now, the original fuel tank seen here only required slight refurbishment and then fitted back to the machine, although the seat was uh, recovered using a brand new foam which was then fitted to the original seat base. Now the original rear shocks on this machine were uh, completely dismantled, then uh, brand new rods, damper rods, were then fitted uh, with new seals and uh, oil and then the remote reservoirs were regassed and the springs painted and then these were fitted back onto the bike. Now the replacement plastics on this machine came direct from a supplier in Italy and uh, all the other various ancillary items such as cables, stainless steel bolts, drivetrain, sprockets and nuts etc 
were all purchased from local suppliers here in the UK. Now, after completion, the machine was then very reluctantly put up for sale by Alex, which immediately generated a lot of interest from potential buyers both here in the UK and from Italy. Now, Duncan Libby originally saw the bike advertised on a local internet website where he purchased the bike almost immediately. Although Duncan had no part to play in the renovation of this particular machine as most of the work was completed by the time he purchased it. Now although it may not look like it, this bike was restored to a very high quality finish when it was first completed. But the many years of just being parked in a small corner of a workshop has once again dulled the metal finish slightly and the dreaded rust worm is beginning to get hold on its once immaculate and shiny surfaces. But despite that this is still a quite rare and very interesting machine from 1977. So I hope you've enjoyed having a quick look at this very rare Italian Moto Villa. And there we have one happy owner. That's Duncan Libby with his 1977 380 Moto Villa. This video was brought to you in association with VMX Magazine, the world's number one publication for all your classic and vintage dirt bike motorcycles.